ahead on Daytime Buffalo. Celebrating trailblazing women at the 716, we've got radio personality Adriana Viverett in to talk about a big event coming up. And we're celebrating students for a better tomorrow in today's Hope Rises. It's all coming up right here on Daytime Buffalo. Hello and welcome to Daytime Buffalo. I'm your host, Chelsea Lavelle. Our first guest today is someone who our viewers most likely already know. Adriana Vivrette, local radio personality at Power 93.7 WBLK. Adriana, thank you so much for stopping by. No, thank you for having me. It's good to see you. Nice to finally <laughs> meet you. Now tell me about your upcoming event. Yes, I'm super excited. It originally started out as just a birthday celebration for me where I just wanted to acknowledge all my friends who are just winning. It's oftentimes as women, we accomplish our goals we hit those opportunities and then we don't take the time to celebrate. So I created the Go-Getter Mix and Mingle to be the ultimate premier networking opportunity for, of course, Women's History Month. My birthday is in the month of March and I wanted to take the time to celebrate those women who are accomplishing goals, you know, tra tra um, blazing their own trails and just truly being a go-getter in the midst of it. So that's what the event is all about and it happened every March, of course, for the last six years. Wow, that is incredible. Now this is truly a celebration of life and you are also celebrating someone very close to you who passed. Absolutely. So of course my mother to me has always been like the ultimate go-getter. And so I decided to take this award that I did before with her, which I call it the Rose Award, where she will always say, give me my roses while I am still here, right? Yes. And I would do that as her daughter. But of course, when I gave her the award back in 2018, we acknowledged the fact that she was battling cancer and also I had a mentor who was doing the same, but they continued to show up to work every day. My mother was a nurse, my mentor was in nonprofit sector, and they were battling cancer, going through radiation, going through chemo, and still showing up, being a nurse, being a, an advocate in their community, and still battling this thing with style and grace. So I decided to take that, ro that Rose Award and call it now the Crystal E. Viverette Award where I will be honoring someone in the community who truly shows up each and every time for our people, for her community, and is still facing her own adversities at the same time. What does it mean to you to celebrate black excellence in the 716? <sighs> You know, for so long, so many women, like for particularly Black Excellence when it comes to Women's History Month, we just keep going. We have like this history of dealing with so many things and still showing up and just striving forward and never really taking the moment to acknowledge those moments. So that's what I do each and every month, I mean each and every March uh, Women's History Month to make sure we celebrate those moments and toast to those accomplishments. So specifically, I give everyone a glass, um, a, a customized champagne glass and champagne so that they can take the time to actually celebrate individually too. Nice, that's what we were seeing <laughs> just there. Tell me a little bit about what we can see if people are going to this event. Yes, we're going to be honoring 10 amazing women, of course, where we're going to be toasting, of course, their accomplishments. You know, those young women are, I'm not even going to just say young, they are trailblazing women. I'm talking about Leah Daniels, Zanetta Everhart, Chantel Patton, Alicia and Alicia Officer, Kara Oliver Perez, Chantel Thompson, Portia Parson, Shai Arno, Dreary Dahir, and Giselle Henson, where we're going to be just celebrating their accomplishments, toasting, of course, and just networking amongst women. Amazing. Now, we've actually seen some of the incredible women that you have at your event on our show. Yes, they, they really are some trailblazers. Some, I met Zanetta Everhart at yes. M&T Banks Black History Month celebration. So there are going to be some... Michelle Chantel Patton as well. She yes, was she was on their mm -hmm. show, um, especially at the end of our Black History Month about, uh, you know, her, her book that she has, her directory. Yes. Uh, so that's incredible. You've got some powerhouse women in the building to yes. celebrate you and themselves. Absolutely, and they motivate me. You know, I see them still going after their dreams and their goals despite the life obstacles. And when I was going through that process, when my mother was transitioning, it just was watching these women still go after their dreams despite the things that we know was going on the scene, you know, going under, happening behind the scene. It's like true swan operation. You know, the, the legs are just kicking and working hard, but you still are moving with grace. Yeah. 
I think that's an amazing thing. I've talked about it before, but it is so important to give people their flowers, like yes. you said, while they're still in life. Absolutely. While, while they're still celebrating, while they're still moving, making accomplishments. And I think especially during Women's History Month, like you said, women are just always on the go. We're so strong. We are. We're so resilient. And we keep powering through so many things, no matter what's going on in our life. But it's important to stop and say, wow. Yes. Look what I've done. What, look what I've accomplished. Look who's surrounding me. And that is what you're going to bring to your event. Absolutely. And so many of these ladies are pursuing their PhD right now while having children and being married and working a full-time career, working on a nonprofit, and then also having a full-time, you know, uh, community aspect where they're giving back. And I'm like, how are you doing all of these things? <laughs> you know? And so I want to salute them to let them know we see you, we salute you, and we celebrate you. Because sometimes you just have to be seen. Absolutely. You no, know, that's what it is. How can people find out more information about your event? Absolutely. We, of course, are live on um, Eventbrite at the Go-Getter Mix and Mingle2023.eventbrite.com. The event is open to the public. It is free, but donations are accepted where all donations go to the Go-Getter Scholarship. Nice. Like she just said, if you're interested in going to the event, you can do so by going to the Go-Getter Mix and Mingle2023.eventbrite.com. Thank you so much for coming on and good luck and happy Thank birthday. You. Thank you so much. <laughs> Well, since Buffalo Bills player Demar Hamlin's life was saved on the field, there's been a big push to get more people trained to use CPR and a defibrillator. One California doctor has made it his mission to help people learn how to save lives. Michelle Medina has a look at the app he created that can teach the life-saving techniques in just a few simple steps. In a medical emergency, Time is of the essence to begin life-saving measures. I am matching my pace with the timer. Inside UC San Diego Simulation Training Center, Don't feel pulse. researchers have been testing the Rescue Me CPR app. This app uh, could be used by anybody, whether they have experience in cardiopulmonary resuscitation or not. Dr. Mark Greenberg developed the app along with medical student Brennan Marsh Armstrong. For Dr. Greenberg, it was personal after a loved one witnessed an emergency. Uh, there was a kid on the couch who all of a sudden, when we looked over, was, was blue and not breathing. I said, well, what would you have liked to have? And they said, I wish we had an app. I said, I'm going to make one. Through visual, voice, and text prompts, CPR can be done on anyone experiencing an opioid overdose or any type of cardiac arrest. The more people that know CPR, the more likelihood that someone will be around you that can perform CPR when it's needed. This person needs CPR. It gives you a choice, you make the choice, and then you move on to the next. And within 45 seconds, you're already doing chest compressions. Every year in the U.S., there are 350,000 out-of-hospital cardiac arrests. CPR can double or triple the chances of survival. When there's an emergency, do people tend to forget what to do? They do, and one of the main features of this app is that it keeps them on task. Dr. Greenberg says his goal is to get Rescue Me CPR on as many phones as possible. Life saving is important. Every life counts. Saving lives one download at a time. Coming up after the break, Hope Rises shares the mission of students for a better tomorrow. And Espos Catering gives us Buffalo classics with an artistic twist. Keep it here. That's coming up.